Hey there, Danny here. Welcome to my ramblings. Um, update, I had my treatment appointment today. Um, I have another on Wednesday and Friday, and then Thursday I have to go down for my ANS test. Um, and when we get the results back from that, we'll know if there's any uh, damage to my nerves from uh, the concussion and the broken nose. Um, and then next week is my EGG and my MRI. Um, never had any of these tests in my life, so this will be new. <laughs> An experience that I will figure out, right? <laughs> um, I would not wish an accident like this on my worst enemy. It is, it's awful. Um, pain's still horrible, but it's not as bad as it was. That first weekend, oh my God, I moved and I was in tears. I, I, I'm doing, I, I, the pain that I was feeling, it's much better. Although I'm told, I'm told by the nurses that more than likely I've just become accustomed to the pain, <laughs> which I hope that's not what it is, but we'll find out as we go. Um, I'm not going to be able to be released to travel um, probably until s July. Hopefully, I'll be able to make it back to Wisconsin for August so I can go to the family reunion and go camping. I've been looking forward to this camping trip with my girls for how long now? I don't want to have to miss out on that. Um, and I want to share with you, if you get um, a loan, one of those settlement loans, um, I just want you to know that Whatever you ask for, they're going to give you half. And here's why. Because they want you to hit the account more than once. Because they get more money on their payout the longer the settlement takes. And if you hit it twice, they really get a lot of money. Uh, and I understand why the law firm tries to steer you away from it. But when you make middle income middle class income you you nobody will help you community action wouldn't help nobody would help me and i was lucky enough that the rv park um let me go and didn't pay didn't charge me late fees um so i had originally asked for 10,000 uh they only gave me a little over 5,000 uh, which was fine cuz i paid up my rent my back stuff and then for another month um so I'll be all right uh, for a couple more weeks. Um, and then uh, the only thing, my student loans have finally come off the, the credit. Um, now I just have to deal with the issue with the Kia and whatever else. So credit scores should be going up soon and then I'll have the down payment and I'll be able to go get another car, uh, probably a couple weeks. Um, which means I have to, I have to get, I have to let my bitch out. I, I hate doing it, but it does get things done. Um, I had contacted two or three different people for my student loans back in the end of March, um, beginning of April, and I reamed some people out, um, and I didn't take their excuses. And within a couple of weeks, I got my letter that said that everything was taken care of and cleared and, and, and it can't be used against me for taxes or anything else. So <laughs> I hate bringing that bitch out, but she gets things taken care of. <laughs> so tomorrow and the next day, that's the plan is to call the rest of the people that I need to deal with so I can get that done. If everything comes out and I can get a car, then I can pay off some of the loans. Um that I took out when my mother was sick and I was taking care of her. I'm still paying those off. Um, can't pay off all of them, but I can pay off a couple um, of the little ones if everything works out the way that I have planned. Um, so um, I have been a typing fool. Um, I've got two books in the works as soon as I have a little bit more on those. I'll be sharing some of that stuff with you. Um, and then when I have them published, 
um, I will go ahead and put the link here and everything else. So then if you want to order the book and check it out. Um, <clears throat> so I got to thinking with all the craziness that's been going on. Um, I, I, I've, I've been thinking that I know exactly, sorry, I'm still dealing with these damn bugs. <laughs> So when you live in an RV and you're at a park, you're hooked up to sewer and water. So you don't have to have your tanks closed and go empty your tanks every couple weeks or so. That's not something that you have to do. Um, well, that means there's no en enzymes in the tank. And the problem with that is uh, when spring comes around, you get the flies and the gnats. And I've been dealing with them. And I put the bleach down the drains with the water. Um, and it's been fine in the kitchen here and in the shower area. Um, the bathroom I'm still battling, so I shut off. I closed the tanks, the green, the black tank, and I threw a couple of enzyme things in there um, and a bunch of water. So we should be good probably tomorrow or so. I should be able to not have to be dealing with these bugs anymore. Welcome to RV living. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. Um, I just got to keep reminding myself that okay this time it's going to get warmer so I need to do this um but I got to thinking about it as I was going I'm sorry my nose itches so bad um I got to thinking about it and and the what my goal is with this is to bring people together so when somebody's dying of cancer um, or is sick with cancer, um, it, whether they survive it or they don't, um, they get accolades, they get, you know, and they should, they should, that's a hell of a thing to battle. Um, but we tend to forget the caregivers, especially after the fact. And I just wanted to show some appreciation to the caregivers. And my thought process about putting the pictures on the RV was for the sole purpose that we can bring together other people. So after you take care of somebody who is dying of cancer, once they die, you're left with this big gaping hole because for months, if not longer, your life revolved around this person. And then when they're not there anymore, it, it's it's not only the loss that's devastating, it's the, oh my God, now what do I do? Um, and I just kind of want to bring people together. Um, we're so divided in this country, especially since, since the lockdowns and the pandemic. We came back and customer service sucks. Um, people are just so divided and angry and, and hateful that I want to bring... Um, people together so you don't have to feel alone that you're you're the only one out there you're not and with the pictures on the side then when we do the meetups uh, you know people can come and see the pictures and get pictures of themselves on with the pictures that they have on the side of the RV um, we get too many and I have to start rotating or something we'll do that too um, we'll figure it out as we go um, but I want to bring people together because we need more love and connection and, and, and compassion. And, and we are so divided in this country at this point. And, and it's so, it's, it's so sickening. It, it just, it, it, it drives me nuts. We could be more kinder to each other. And, and that's what my goal is here, is to build a soul tribe that we can, we can be understanding of each other and, and be a place and a resource to come to. Um, so feel free to reach out if you're at that point where you were a caregiver and the person passed, because I, I can tell you after they pass, it's, it's hard to go back to your normal life. You're so used to being in taking care of this person that, that when you have to go back to your life, it's, it's. It's really kind of shocking um, and they don't really tell you how to do it 
there's nobody that helps you through it really i mean there are groups and stuff that, that you can join but they're more talking about the pain of the loss of the person that you lost i, I just don't think that we give enough help after the fact to the caregivers because i know i was not only mourning the loss of my mother but i was also mourning the fact that I didn't know how to go back into my normal life. Um, so that's why I'm going to do the things that I'm doing. This is all about bringing us together so we don't have to feel so alone. So we know that there are other people out here just like us that need our help. So that's what the point of this is. Um, I just wanted to give you a heads up on what was going on with um, the medical and I wanted to share with you about the settlement loans and what those are because they don't really give you a lot of information and I knew they wouldn't. I knew they wouldn't because otherwise you might not sign up for it. Um, I had asked for 10000 They gave me just over 5000 I did not. It was not enough to be able to get my car. Um, but it was enough to pay my bills and keep me covered for a, a month. So I'm good for, for a while. Um, I'm now going to bring my bitch out and get the, th the rest of the crap on my uh, credit fixed, um, mainly the Kia and um, issues I've had with this, the place that has the RV loan, which when I'm done paying for it, which should be here shortly, um, once I get, I get settlement money from something else that's coming in that's going to pay this off and then I'm, I will tell you who the loan company was and do not use them. Um, they are not, they don't work with you and they have no customer service whatsoever. Um, they're very rude and, and, and disrespectful. Um, anyways, uh, so basically what I, I, I just wanted to share with you all of that information. Um, so if you're going to take out a settlement loan, if you, if you, you get an accident or something, just know that if you want ten grand, ask for twenty. Uh, they make more money off of you taking out a second loan with them. Um, so basically, they're expecting that you hit them back up because they now know you want ten grand. Well, I, I don't need it. I, I can I can work around it because now that the student loans are off my credit, um, my and the Kia thing gets taken care of, my credit should shoot back up to where it was. So it shouldn't be a problem to get a loan. Um, and I did have to bring my bitch out for um, the student loans. I did that at the end of March, beginning of April. Um, I talked to like three different people and I read them the riot act, which I hate doing that, but it does get things done. And um, I didn't take their excuses and they're blaming everybody else, every other company and everybody else who dealt with it was their problem. Yep, I didn't care. I kept talking to supervisors till somebody heard what I had to say. And then a couple weeks later, I got my letter saying that it's paid off. It took them forever to get it off my credit, but it is now off the credit now, so that's good. It will be going up. Um, the loan company for the RV has hit my account, my my credit, has hard inquiry, inquired my credit twice this year, um, and that's going to be dealt with too. But um, just so you're aware. Um, if you do take out a settlement loan, ask for double what you want. Um, otherwise, they're going to hit you because those fees get really expensive the longer the settlement takes. Um, at this point, I, I really, I, I just wanted to be able to pay my rent and 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 get back to what I could, somewhat of a normal life, um, which I will be able to. Um, now I will, uh, I'll be, uh, we'll be all good. Um, so with that said. Um, I hope that you have been reviewing your 10 things that you have that bring you pleasure and happiness. You should be reviewing that at least once a day, if not in the morning, then at night. Um, and you might want to start making um, a gratitude journal um, and put three to five things every day before you go to bed that you're grateful for that happened that day. Um, the other thing that I was doing before my accident was in the morning when I would be writing in my journal, I would also uh, put in, um, I know something wonderful is going to happen to me today. 
And usually something would happen that was like great. Um, so give that a try. Um, and let me know how it goes for you. Um, if you feel like you want to share some of the stuff off of your list, I'd love to hear it. I I'll gladly share with you off of my list. Um, this is about connection and not having to feel alone in this greedy, divided country we live in right now. <laughs> um, anyways, with that said, I'll let you go. Um, I hope you have a great night. Um, I will be back tomorrow or the next day. Um, and as soon as I get the clearance for this, I will be picking up the stuff so then we can start doing the pictures on the RV and I can start traveling. Um, looking forward to meeting everybody. Anyways, have a great night. Love you guys.